And so they, how many people are you playing in front of? It's seven, 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. That's, that's, that's a great show, man. In front of metal. It was, it was, was, it, was it was a lot of fun. Uh, it wasn't our greatest performance. Well, we haven't I'll, been together in, <laughs> I mean, how many rehearsals have you had leading up to this? A, hand, a handful and then one warm up gig that, that gig right. in SA. But it's right. always going to be that way when you're not a touring. That's how Dangerous Toys works. That's how broken. We don't, I hate rehearsing. Yeah. But yeah. you have to rehearse if you want to be okay. Professional. Yeah. Kind of good. Know what you're right. doing. Oh right. yeah. I mean, it's totally, it's, it's a, it's pro. It just wasn't th this particular performance wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, we were, and there's no sleep. There's no sleep between any of us. Right. Which brings me to my next question. So you get <laughs> so, off the stage, do you stick around for the rest of the show or do you hightail it back and try to catch some sleep before the flight? Well, it's, right you know, there's on. still business to be done. Okay. There's still, people are still buying shirts and oh, you have right. to get paid okay. for the gig and you know, yeah. You have to figure out, you have to check in for the flight in, you know, three hours from now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what time does the flight leave the next morning? Oh, it was still dark outside. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I mean, all told from the time you left your home and by the time you walked back in the door, how many hours was that? Well, it was 14 when you, when you consider the layovers on the way back, it was the same four hour layover it was at jfk in new york so it's the same amount of travel we just left earlier in the day on on that sunday which would have been october 8th so so 14 hours both there hours. yep there, so that's yep. 28 hours how much yep. time are you on the ground and on stage in germany we were there so we, we landed at 9 30 and we went on at 5 30 so you know by by eight you're done at eight thirty not so, nine i mean i was there probably till ten thirty, and then and then it was i i'm gonna go pack my bag at the you know at the in the hotel room and make sure that i don't forget anything and so i'm know, not gonna do the math but it's safe to say it was less than 48 hours and you were back home 28, 28 travel well, time. Well, it was all day Friday and an all pretty much an all day Sunday. So you're really only in Germany that one day, right? From right. nine ish to you know, yeah, three o'clock in the morning, you know, or whatever. That is a crazy head spinning weekend, right there. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't even in Germany. I don't think twenty four hours. So when you come back home, how long does it take you to put your head back together after oh, something? Oh, get like back that? on your normal clock. Yeah, yeah. You, the the best trick is to just not re not sleep. Get back on your clock if it's yeah. you know. You, sure, take a little nap just to kind of feel human, but I wouldn't try to induce sleep because usually they call it second wind. It's not really second wind. You're kind of uh just kind of you're just out of whack you know and yeah. uh it, just, it it took me a whole i took off work the next day and just chilled on that monday yeah but i was i was fine i mean i pretty much you know went to bed at a normal hour and uh, well, it, it was uh, it was really it was really great uh, let's talk about you know just the whole experience because it's a two day thing. It was a lot of bands that I had heard of that I'd never seen before. And like, you know, um, I, I wasn't there for Friday. I was in, I was on a plane. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I got to see some metal Lucifer. I got to see some, uh, uh, I think they're a Japanese thrash band, metal Lucifer. I want to say they're a Japanese band and, uh, they were, they were rad. Uh, yeah. I got to see Enforcer. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, they're cool. They're like I've traditional heavy metal. Yeah, I've, I've seen them here in uh, Austin. And the bass player, who I don't, I don't know personally, lives in Austin. So he was ah. probably on our flight or the flight right after ours uh, out of Austin and going back too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and he okay. was in. Apparently, I feel bad that I don't know his name, but. Uh, he was in Scorpion Child. 
Oh yeah. Remember that band? Yeah. 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 He's an enforcer and uh, Olaf, the singer is how I found that out. And, uh, I, I hung out with uh, just in passing a little bit, got to talk to Olaf a little bit. And it was like a funny story about Olaf from enforcer. This was probably going on seven years ago or something crazy like that. I'm living at my mom's place, downtown Austin, and I'm out there doing yard work. This is funny. I'm doing yard work, so I'm sweaty and gross. I'm wearing a Watchtower shirt. Yeah. And two dudes, one of them, Olaf. It was Olaf and the drummer, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the drummer's name. They're walking down my street. I'm doing yard work, wearing a Watchtower shirt. Two dudes from Enforcer are walking down my street. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys are in Enforcer. And they're like, yeah, we are. Yeah, and I introduced myself and da 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 da, and they're like, "Oh shit, yeah, we know who you are." Blah 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 blah. We've done, you know, Igniter has hung out with Enforcer. Done, I think we've done a show somewhere around here. Uh, I think the drummer was actually living in Austin for a while, so it's no surprise that they know a lot of people in you know around here. Yeah. So here we are, you know, in Germany years and years later and he's like yeah our bass player from austin so enforcer has this cool austin connection and then olaf is reminding me about oh shit and i wanted to like go like total beavis and butthead hey you remember that time y'all were walking down the middle of my street and i was mowing the lawn <laughs> but i didn't i didn't get to bring that up <laughs> anyway so this is a great celebration all of these european festivals are incredible and a lot of our friends go pil you know they do the pilgrimage and they fly over and rodney dunsmore and and uh and more there's a whole crew of them sean weingartner uh anyway and it's just it's a rite of passage and they they really care it's a full-on culture over there yeah um, i could talk about it for hours but um yeah and then uh yeah the slot that that uh the promoter gave us was uh right after enforcer enforcer metal lucifer enforcer watchtower metal church and udo dirk snyder oh man on a saturday night yeah it was heavy metal heaven wow yeah and That's um wild. so i'm walking off stage you know thank you good night i'm walking off stage whatever and uh dudes in metal church are right there side of the stage yeah they killer watch. show yeah. high five and the singer was like oh it's my first time seeing you guys that blah 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 uh the singer's name is Mark Lopes, L-O-P-E-S. In Texas, people would, go, would say Mark Lopez. Right. Whether it was S or Z, they would say, but it's Mark Lopes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, cool. Yeah, that was great. Awesome. Cool. Nice to meet you. And Kurt Vanderhoof is back there, and he's like, Jason, what's up? High five, blah, 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 blah. Uh, hang out see some metal church go do some business production office merch table da 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 da, da. We'll, you know hook up a ride back to the you know get the they get the shuttle happening to go back to the hotel and um run into Kurt breakfast you know early as shit still dark outside they're serving breakfast probably six you know yeah at the hotel so that 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 changes things. I guess our our uh, our ride was there at like six thirty, I think. So we're wow. we're you know shoving our face with muffins and egg and whatever we can get down before the we have to get in the van. Right. And um, and Kurt Vanderhoof is there, and he's like, "Hey, man, cool." And he and uh, he starts how we exchange numbers and and. Uh, All's, all's well, we get in the van and we, you know, 14 hour travel day back, <clears throat> back to town. Yay. Success. Wow. Um, hopefully there'll be some decent, uh, video because keep it true. They have a video crew that videotapes and they always record and such. So we're hoping to get some cool, uh, pro shot edited, you know, sounding good, looking good videos, uh, eventually, but. We're, yeah. And we are directly involved in produ with producing some of that stuff as well. So hopefully that'll happen because uh, sometimes it doesn't. 
depending on right. how how good it sounds and might might not might not yeah. work anyway uh that's awesome 